How we doing? Good. Yeah, how was lunch? How's the energy level? Good. Still good? Yeah. Outstanding. All right, that's good to hear. Well, thank you for being here, and uh, we really appreciate the time that we get to spend with you guys. It's been outstanding so far. The morning was excellent meeting with everybody. Introductions, my name is Michael Johnson. I am the Program Director for Office Depot, working for Taylor Corporation. Tammy Wilschlager is our merchandise manager, also working for Taylor Corp for this account, so we're excited to be here. What we wanted to do today is we want to take some time to really spend the, you know, the majority of the time talking about design at the kiosk and really talking about, you know, how does it benefit A, your store associates, nice. how does it benefit your business, and three, most importantly, how does it benefit your customers? Right? They're the most important thing at the end of the day. Without them, we wouldn't be here. None of us. It's that important. So when we talk about design it, when we talk about the kiosk, they're used interchangeably, right? But what is design? Design it is really the ordering technology that the kiosk really is based upon, I guess, in a sense. It's a ordering tool that we have in place. The great thing about design it is today, just about all of our products are on design it, right? So if you have a customer that comes in, they want a personalized business product, they want a promotional product, they want custom print, you can go right to the kiosk and build that product. Right to the kiosk. Now, does the kiosk have everything? No, it doesn't. There are some things, and you'll see them here noted, actually. There are a couple of things that we don't do today. We don't have notary stamps, right? State restrictions, other things, they're all different. What do they require? Something that's difficult to put, but you know what? We're working on it. We're going to have it soon. Notary stamps, that's a big business. So we're really hoping to have that in place here very soon. So hopefully there will be some updates coming. Custom quoted products. You're always going to have some products that require a manual order blank to be filled out, right? Customer comes in, they've got a brand. The color on that is a PMS color, you know, that we can't run through the kiosk. That's another example of something that's going to be quoted, okay? Third piece, I've got another example, is large quantity orders, right? Somebody comes in, they want 100,000 stamps. I'm not going to go to the kiosk and into it. It's not an But I'm sure you won't have a problem filling out a manual order for like a 100,000 order, right? Yeah, that would be pretty easy. You know, the other piece of it is, um, again, most of the products are out there. So when you talk about what percentage of the orders should be going through the kiosk, 90%. Okay, it's an important number to remember. Ninety percent of all Taylor orders should go through the kiosk because the vast majority of our products are. I'm sure you're all familiar with the compliance rate. There's a report that goes out that says X number of orders that could have been placed electronically were actually placed manually. There's some benefits to as why do you want to use the kiosk, and we'll get into those here. Products. So let's talk about products a little bit. We've got hundreds of products, right? In the, in the design and on the kiosk. I could talk about them all day long, right? I won't, don't worry. See, everybody kind of go. But one of the things I do want to talk about when it comes to product is what's the season we're heading into? Holiday. Holiday, holiday season. All right, we're 11 for 11. We're doing all right. I'm waiting for like the 4 o'clock group to be like, I don't know. I just want to go home. <laughs> Hasn't happened yet. Holiday. The exciting piece is we got a new thing we're introducing this year. If you'd have looked at the tagline for holiday in previous years, it just would have read holiday cards. Why? Because that's what we had. We had templates, right? We had templates. We had designs that were already predetermined. Great designs. Don't get me wrong. And many people are going to utilize them this year. But for those customers that came in and they wanted to introduce, they really wanted to personalize it, right? They wanted to add a photo to it. We haven't had that in the past, but you know what? As it reads here today, right? 2012, holiday, photo cards. Everybody knows, you walk into anybody's house, November, December, you go to their kitchen on the refrigerator, is what? Hundreds of holiday cards, right? And almost all of them have a photo. You know, their family picture, they were in the Bahamas, they want everybody to know. We heard, we heard it from the stores, we heard it from the customers. We had to add it this year. We're excited, we're introducing it. And your customers have a couple of different options when it comes to the, book, to the photo cards. We've got same day photo cards. They have their artwork and they bring it in. You guys can produce it right there on site, right? Same day or it's free. Right? That's a great service. People are excited about that. You know as well as I do. In fact, you know what better? Customers want what? They want a quality product and they want it fast. Okay? 
Let's say they come in and they want something that's a little bit different than the stock that's offered in store, though. Okay? They want on a little bit thicker stock. They want something different. That's fine. Build your own. Go into the kiosk. You can build it right there. Okay? Five to seven day delivery. So it's not as though they have to wait a couple of weeks. It's something that we can turn very quickly and quality on the products outstanding. So let's talk about the benefits for the stores when it comes to design at the kiosk. Eliminates order forms and manual order places. That price seems a little funny coming from a guy whose life is paper that I want to eliminate paperwork. But I know it's that important. I've been in your stores, I've shopped, I've gone to your CPD areas, and you've got two people back there, and one of them's trying to ship, and one of them's trying to make copies, and you got another one that's trying to help out a customer. It, it, it can get chaotic, right? The last thing we have is trying to always fill out the paperwork to put up an order through. The kiosk eliminates that. If an associate's not available, they can walk up to the kiosk. It's an extension of the associate. And the way that we built it, it's pretty easy to navigate through. Second bullet point, another benefit to it. Accuracy of orders, right? You fill out a manual order form, you get all kinds of opportunity for errors to be made, right? Customer doesn't articulate well what they want. Store associate might hear it a little bit different. Store associate, maybe your penmanship might be a little bit off. Our typesetters make a mistake when they're typing in the order. There's lots of room for errors when you're talking about manual orders. Look at this number here. On manual orders, the average error rate is 8%. 8%. It's eight, eight out of every 100 customers that come through that have a manual order comes out wrong. It's customer disappoint. Designed orders have an error rate of 1.5% on average, okay? Another important number, 1.5%. That's huge. I don't have to tell you. So many places, man, you order, they come in, they go, really? How could you have misspelled Smith? <laughs> you got no answer. Um, you can eliminate that with a kiosk, okay? There's the opportunity for you to proof an order, which goes take advantage of that. Associates can easily learn to create orders and design it. Not only associates, but customers. That's the beauty of it. If somebody's not available, they can go up there. They can give them the navigation. And if you do run into issues, another bullet point here, something that we have introduced somewhat recently, is the online chat, right? That pops up. If you have any problems, you click on that. You're going to go to a subject matter expert on our site. It's going to help you walk through the order. Okay? Make sure that we get it right. We get it right the first time. Avoid that customer disappointment. Design is skews. This one always makes people's eyes get a little bit bigger. They have a blended IMU new rate of 45%. From what I hear, it's pretty strong for the area. And that can easily be added on. We'll talk a little bit about that here in the near future. Makes Mark III selling easy. Okay? There should always be some leading questions when dealing with people that want custom print. Great. What's the application? Personal or professional? Professional. Great. What's your business? And then from there, really the navigation, how it's set up within design it, it kind of takes you down through a series of questions. We want to make sure we get the, the customer in the right product, right? We want to make sure that it has the look and feel that they're looking for. And we want to make sure that they feel comfortable closing out that transaction once we work with them. When you talk about the R, recommend. There's always things we can be recommending. Let's use business cards, for example, right? That's your business biggest product category. Always offer backer. Okay? Always offer additional large quantity. Because the price break from one to the next is very small, really. And it's something that we found where typically associates are very successful if they bring those up and they use those parts. Okay? And then clothes. I always like to bring this up. I do a lot of mystery shopping. You know, I go and I set up orders in the stores myself. And I love it. You guys have great store associates. Very, you know, uh, very helpful, very polite, very courteous. But sometimes, you know, I'll notice they'll go, that's great, you like it? Yeah, I love it. That's great. You know, if you want to think about it, come back, you know, that's cool. Or if you want, no, let's close that sale. Let's close it right now. There you go. That's right. Always be closed. Orders are archived for two years. This is a great point. When you're dealing with custom print, right, people are, it's an extension of them. It's an extension of their brand. They're bringing you some personal information. They're bringing you their artwork. They're going through the steps to set it up. Why would they want to go anywhere else when you have it? That's almost guaranteed additional business down the road, right? It's building loyalty. It's repeat business, future transactions. They're not going to want to go somewhere else and build it if they know that you have it. They just got to come back and, whoop, 
another great thing. I live in New York, and I set it up in New York, and I come here to Oak Cliff. That ain't a problem. I can walk into any one of your stores here, and I can just reorder it as well. Any office depot. Benefits for the customer, right? You have two types of customers who come in. Customers that have their artwork, great. If you've got the sign templates, let's drop it, let's work on it, jazz it up, make it look nice. If you don't, that's cool. You've got plenty of designs. Thousands of them. You can pick from multiple products. It's a huge benefit to the customer. Stocks and print processes. You've got it all. You can pull the raised print. A lot of people do that in the industry. Does Mr. Print do that? They do not. And then instant proofing, which we talked about earlier. How many people realize we have QR codes available right now on the site? QR codes. Everybody know what QR code is? It's all over the place. You find it everywhere. Cereal boxes, movie posters, products. We have this built right into the toolbar. It's easy as making a business card. You find a template you like, right within the toolbar, there's an area to push QR code. Four-step process here. What do you want it to do? You want it to store a phone number? Somebody clicks on it, puts them right in their contacts. If you want a virtual business card, you want it to drive somebody to a website, please you can just fill this out. It's going to give you a proof on what that thing looks like and how it's going to be presented. Drag and drop it where you want it. That's what you get. What's the upcharge on that? What's it worth? Zero dollars. Yes. Plus nothing. Guess who does it? You do. Anybody else? Nope. Office Depot exclusive. All right? Something, another good option. That's a great back, back copy option. So, something to always be talking to. Let's see. Yeah. Now he's thinking. That's what I like to hear right there. I might bring you back and have you do this part. All right. So, let's talk about CPD facts. All right? Penetration year to date 6.5%. Up from last year, 75%. Okay. Margin rate for stores, 60%. 70% of the CPD customers that we have today, we're identified as your work-life rewards customers. Okay. 15% of total retail CPD is driven by BSD customers. I mean, that's big. That's about that. The average CPD department has processed 15,000 transactions year to date through September. 15,000. That's just the tip of the iceberg, in my opinion. Department 32 digital printing has the highest penetration at 57% with a margin rate. Check this out. The margin rate. It's an important number. 83%. 83% margin rate. And the more that you can upsell, and the more that you can work on that average order value and other things, keep building that. We talk about those recommendations, quantity, so forth. How can you grow it? Follow the process. Follow the workflow. Right? Make sure that everybody's trained. That's a big piece, you know? That's, that's really what it comes down to. That's the extension. That's, you know, I'm not going to be selling them. You know, it's the people that are on the shores. they got to feel comfortable with it. Make sure they are. Leverage your Xerox Marketing Associates for training and support. Big piece. Leverage that. Leverage your vendors. Ensure jobs a quality check prior to delivering to the customer. That goes back to that proofing, right? It's right there available for you. Make sure we're utilizing it. Utilize full service order forms to implement ARC 3 and CPD. Okay. Utilize the R RPF for large jobs. Everybody comfortable? And then, of course, Establish a solid relationship with BSD. To do that, they're going to sell. You know what I mean? They're going to come to you for that. You got to make, you know, they got to be comfortable with it. The relationship's got to be there. Anything to add, Tammy, Bobby? Anything to add at this point? How's everybody feeling? Okay, any questions for me? We've got a few minutes before we're going to kick off. Uh,